Hello my lovely Aquarius, how are you for January 2019? Isn't it weird to say that? 2019, here we are in 2019, your first month. Now the messages in the top row are from your higher self and they are the messages for the months. Generally beginning of the month, middle and end. Okay, this is the advice which is from the energy oracle and you've got the world card there. The advice from your angels is about being in your truth. And these three cards from the Lenormand deck are giving more information to here. Okay, so clarification cards, if you like. Okay, so you are starting the month with the Queen of Pentacles, which is a card all about feeling very grounded and stable and financially secure. Now you're coming towards your birthday month here. Some of you having birthdays at the end of January, and you're wanting to come into this month with this real sense of you want the struggle to be over. Many of you have been under financial pressure for some time. We've got the struggle card here. It's been a burden, overburdened. And we are wanting this stability because the queen is very, very shrewd financially. She's got her head screwed on. She knows how to manage her finances. And even when things are tight, she can manage. She can prioritize well. She can focus on where it needs to go. So you're coming into the new year with this energy of strong, stable. I'm drawn to how she's standing very tall. She's not hunched, she's not stooped, not like that poor chap there carrying that lot. She is really standing in her power. She's very calm, very calm and very grounded. She has that pentacle. She's got that beautiful peacock with all of these fabulous feathers. This is symbolizing beauty and peace and tranquility and feeling very grounded and stable which is good that's what we want but the page is coming in with an offer for some of you we've got the page of cups and the three of cups next to each other there is an offer coming in which is going to be cause for celebration because the three of cups is about getting out and partying letting your hair down having some fun and this would be lovely especially around your birthday time because by the middle of the month we have something that we are celebrating here there is an offer there is an opportunity coming in with some news that is going to be very uplifting and this is confirmed down here because this birds card is a similar card about news news coming in communication and um, information and it's very often linked to couples it's linked to collaboration and working with others but there is news here coming in and it's certainly um, going to make you very happy you're enjoying hit life here however it's thrown you a little bit because i feel these two cards are going together we've got the temperance card reversed with the ten of wands so the temperance is about balance being in balance and being patient and being just balance harmoniously within yourself with your health and your well being with your emotions and with life now when she's upside down there's no ifs or buts we're out of balance and with it being next to the ten of wands here which is the card of being overloaded overburdened there is no doubt whatever this is is overloading you now it could be this offer coming in which is an offer to do something and you think where am I going to fit that in how am I going to find the time I can't do it because there just isn't enough time if this is an offer of love you know, for those of you single coming in and somebody wanting to take you out, take you out and have some fun, and you're saying, I haven't got any time for fun. Well, my darlings, try and make time because we, yes, we all have to work. This is the card of the work of the grafter, but it is about harvesting that. And if we are on our knees, we can't go and do the harvest. So actually taking a bit of time out here to have some fun and, to, and some play, to take that offer up and say, yes, I'll come out, then actually that helps to right the balance and the burden doesn't feel as heavy. And then you're recharged to be able to then go reap your harvest. Because this is, I've done the work and now it's time for me to take back some rewards from it so you've been working very hard in your job for those of you self-employed working hard to build this business to get 
it's stable and now the work is coming in the income is coming in this is we've got the queen here nice and strong and stable and now at the end of the month we are able to start to take some of that income back take some of that money back to help bring back the balance where we've been a little bit tight because here some of this with the temperance upside down and the and the burden could be financial burden all right many of us struggle through january after the expense of uh, christmas and thanksgiving for those of you in the states you know it's a double whammy of, of money going out and so you know we can feel very very uh, we can be quite skint quite short of money through january by the end of january it's picking up balancing back out so be patient hold the balance try not to let things overburden you and even if money is tight don't be saying i'm not going out i'm not going anywhere i've just got to get my head down and work because if all you do is work by the time you get to the end of january you will be too exhausted to be able to enjoy any of that harvest so do try and bring some balance in which is going to enable fun and fun doesn't have to cost money you can get the girls around you can get your mates around you can you know have a few beers in the house have a good giggle over a cup of coffee it doesn't have to cost a lot of money but it is about saying i want to there's an offer here and i'm going to take it up i'm going to have some fun it could be a job offer it could be an offer of love or it could just be a friend saying i've noticed that you are out of balance and knackered let's go and you know go for a nice walk in the park let's go and do something to cheer you up to get you back into a good space now, the advice card with the um, the world there, let's bring it up for you to have a look at it. This is coming from the energy oracle cards. This is being able to see the big picture, the whole thing, because there he is, very looking like the hermit at the end of that path there, looking up at the world from this bigger perspective. Now, we know the world card. It talks about completions and endings, the cycle coming to an end. And this is what we would expect to see as you approach your birthday season, your solar return, that everything you've learned over the previous 12 months, you've now consolidated, you've taken growth and learning from it, and you're now seeing things from a bigger, wider perspective. And this unlocks so many different things. This These opportunities that can start to come in then, because we have the key, the key is all about unlocking that cage so that you can be free to go and do whatever you want to. Next to it, this is the travel card, the trips, the expansion, the floating through life. You know, that ship is flying above the mountains, flying above any obstacles. Nothing's getting in the way. I'm free to go and be wherever I want to go and be. And this unlocking is, is all linked with this world card, which is the advice. We've come to the end of a cycle. We're ready as you hit your birthday to begin a whole new chapter this whole year wrapping up in january putting it behind you ready for a, your new year to start in february but you are at that completion of that cycle and now is the time you know i'm hearing a door going click 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 as multiple bolts are being unlocked and bolted so that you can now access what you want to access now, I said here, this card of the birds is, is similar to the page. This is information. This is news coming in. The birds chattering, talking. This talks about communication, negotiation, announcements. It can be gossip, but I don't feel in this case that it is because all the cards around it, you know, are very positive. Although, yeah, we've got the burden card there. But I feel that this is linked more with the page, bringing in good news. And that is all linked to expansion here, opening stuff up, unlocking stuff so that you can move forward in a much more free, liberating way way now the angels are bringing you the truth card let's bring this up for you to see this beautiful card of truth 
Now, that truth is shining from her heart and from her third eye. As we step into our heart and we allow the truth of all situations to become apparent, that is the biggest key to any cage. It is, the truth shall set you free, is a, is a saying I love from Jim Carrey's movie, Liar Liar. The truth will set you free. So what is it within the burden, within the lack of balance? When we see the truth of it, we can make the changes. When we look at what cages are imprisoning us within our mind, within our beliefs, within our perceptions, we can then free them. When we see the imbalance in our life and we really can look at it in a very deep and truthful way we can say well actually the only person creating that imbalance is me because I'm allowing it and I need to have firmer boundaries you're going to bring this truth into all of this and you're bringing the world into all of this so this is about wider bigger perspectives truthful real honesty within you and shifting things forward reaping the harvest opening up those locks that were in the way you're ready for a new year to expand it's beautiful it's positive it's uplifting make sure you have some fun bring in that balance okay we can't always change our working hours or how hard we work at work but when we can balance it up with some fun the work doesn't feel as burdensome it doesn't feel as much of a uh, a weight on our shoulders because this has lightened us and floating up there absolutely loving it all right, my darling Aquarians, I hope that helps and I will see you in February for more messages from your angels and higher self and check out this reading again towards the end of January. Very often the readings make more sense at the end of the month than they do at the beginning and see what offers have come in and what travel and trips and expansions on the table for you. All right, I'll see you next month. You take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.